Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be, you guessed it, a car themed painting. So the one I picked out tonight was this one. Um, I think it's a just a hot rod. I'm not even sure what kind of year. I'm for somebody that's referred to as the car guy, you know, car painting guy, Hot Wheels guy. There are a lot of cars. The models I don't know unless it's on there. There's some that I do know, uh, a number of them, but I don't know all these. It's I don't know if this is a Ford a thirty, maybe a thirty-two Ford coupe. No, it can't be a coupe. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it's a it's a cool car. I know that. And look at the flames on that thing. Now they're not the red reddish flames, yellowish flames, orange flames, or whatever. They're blue. Hey, I love flames. It doesn't matter what color they are. So anyway, I saw and this is a George Barris Emperor car. George Barris, you gotta love uh, his cars. George Barris, uh, he he made some great some great custom cars, and uh, so I I saw this in the store and I thought I gotta get this one. And I have another one of his. It's actually the same same car, but it's uh, black with the red and, the, and actually it has silver flames with a little red and orange on it. Uh, so I'll do that another day, but I wanted to do this blue one. So what I thought about doing was I originally thought a white background with just blues and make them flamey looking. Now, how do you make blue flames? Well, it's basically, uh, I'm, I was going to use a number of, uh, you know, darker to lighter colors. And then of course the lighter kind of in the center, like when I do my regular red, orange, and yellow flames, the lighter blues kind of like what I would do with the yellow to, to do that. And then I would embellish it with uh, my stick to draw the flames out. So that's what we're gonna do, but I changed it up a little bit because I thought white would go good with the, it, with the blue and the black car would stick out on the white. And I've changed my mind, I'm gonna go with the black background. So, I already have some, all my blues mixed up. So all I have to do is mix up my black paint and, uh, and then we'll get ready to go. And so that it's, it's that simple. So one of these days I will actually show you how I mix my paints, but for, for tonight, I'm not gonna do that. I've already filmed about, this is my seventh, seventh uh, try at, uh, filming the intro um so i better stop at this one so all i have to do is mix my paints i got my canvas ready i'll i'll level it and then we'll get going all right i got this uh i got the black paint down so i'm going to start right in with the with the blues Aggressively get a little lighter. I actually don't have much of this one. So I did have a show this weekend, yesterday. Went pretty good. I was happy with the results. Thick. And I'm going to put some white in there just to So I sold some hot wheel ones, so that's why I'm wanting to do some more. And that I like doing them.
that's what this blue in there. Just a little darker in there. I know I usually like it lighter in there, but
here, let's see what this thing looks like. I hate tearing this thing out of the package. It's kind of a nice car to have in a collection. So, there you have it. So that'll go on there like that. I think that'll be a nice pour. Be a nice one. All right, this one has dried and it looks awesome. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. I have the tape back so it'll clean off uh, the droplets that harden. Seven ounces of Pro Marine resin. And of course that's a three and a half of the hardener and three and a half of the epoxy. Now I met, I'm doing actually two at one time so um, I've already poured half of it out on the other canvas. I'm going to do this one first, or at least finish it off first. And then I'll go to the other one. And I was getting real low on my, in my gallon, it's, I have, it's a two gallon kit, and so a gallon of each, and the, of course the epoxy is real thick like like a real thick molasses it just in it so I was down to the very bottom so it took me a while just to pour it out slow dropping and running and but I finally got enough I actually had to use a little bit from an, another bottle I had sitting there that was empty just I wanted to make sure I had enough I needed about two more ounces to finish it off and it didn't look like it was coming out very fast so but I was able to get it and I do have another two gallon kit that I haven't opened yet I would have gotten that if I needed to but I didn't have to I will for the next time I resin Okay, I've got the got the resin spread on the other one so I can get started on the torching. As you know, you need to torch, torch, torch it. I did a show Saturday, and I was talking to some people. Stopped in my booth, and they were looking at my stuff, and evidently they do some resin work. And they wanted to know how I get it so glass, so clear, so glass looking. You know, looks like glass. So I told them I torch, torch, torch it to death. I told them that I have a lot of lights and I get a glare on it so that I can see the bubbles when I when I'm torching it. That is the key is torch torch torch. They said it. it seemed like they were shocked. I don't even know if they torched it or not. Theirs or not, which is amazing. I, mean, I have seen some resin out there, or at least advertising for resin, that supposedly doesn't have any air bubbles. I'm thinking, yeah, right. I don't know, there could be, but I doubt it. I've seen some devices that supposedly you're able to like a stirring thing that you can use it it won't it won't create bubbles when you're stirring it but I don't believe that either This blue is just a 
amazing blue. We're going to set that in there. We're going to move it just a little bit. Right there. Move it that way. Oh, yeah, I love that, that blue. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Help us out and uh, continue to grow. And as always, leave a comment and let me know what you think of this piece. Thanks for watching.